How do you move on after a breakup, five years, when you lose your sense of self? Yeah, you know, this is what happens when you live with somebody for a long time. You forget who you are because you never spend time on you. The mind is always on what is the other person doing for you or what you're doing for the other person and you've lost your independence, you've lost your, your, your way of being. So how, how do you do it? How do you find yourself? You're doing it by being here and asking this question. Just by asking this question. So what do you do? You start very simply. You first start on your psychological or physical makeup. Start with the body and then you go deeper. Ask yourself, you know, what do I like to do in my life? What have I always dreamed of doing as a child? You know, many of us have things when, when we're children, we think when we grow up we're going to do this and it never happens. Remember those dreams. Think, why did you have those dreams? And think, have I achieved them? And try to find out what qualities you have, what characteristics you have. Are you good at doing things with your hands? Are you good with computers? What are you good at? You know, and start to take an interest. If you don't know and you can't find out, go and take any course. Keep the physical mind busy learning something new. It really helps you. Study spiritual books. Learn. Who am I really? Who am I really? On the earth plane, my personality, what I can do with my personality on this earth, who am I really inside? Hmm? Learn a little bit about your soul. How do you do that? Spend a little time every day in silence asking yourself, who am I? You know, am I this body? Why am I here on this earth? What is my mission? Hmm? What am I meant to do. I'm so lost. I'm so much in pain. You ask yourself over and over, you'll get an answer. And then eventually, you will get a sense of yourself. Start getting involved in the world. Start getting to know, like I said, study different people, study whatever you can, start to learn. Knowledge is your way out. Hmm? By knowledge, it can take you out of ignorance and sadness. You know, why are you stuck now? Five years ago, you should be on your way to a new exciting life, a new beginning. That's how you start. It's not the end. It's a new beginning. Yeah, you change your way of thinking. Okay, now let's say today is my first day of living. I've had five years of suffering after a breakup. It's been horrible. Today is my first new day. How exciting. What can I do? How can I make it delicious? How can I make it lovely? How can I make it joyous? Ask yourself these questions. Know who you are. The world will tell you, oh, poor you, and this, and so much gossip. And, and you know, whatever it is, Gibraltar is a small place, and it's very difficult for people here sometimes, because there's so much gossip, and there's so much talking, yeah? And you can't get away from it. So take some time out for a bit. Spend some time... Uh, on a retreat or on your own, you know somebody who is a quiet place, learn who you are first. Because one of the reasons why you lose your sense of self is because you'll be listening to everybody else telling you what you should have done, what you shouldn't have done, how you went wrong, how the other person went wrong. So your mind will be constantly filled of judgment. And if you're constantly full of judgment, you can't move on. You just gotta let it go, it's over, new beginnings. And not listen so much, and find out who you are and what you are, and live you. Nobody can live you for you, can they? Can anybody possess your body and live you for you? No, live you, live who you were born to be. Start take becoming independent, more and more independent. The more independent you be, Become the happier you are. Don't be needy. And that's how you can get over it. And it's scary. It's scary. It's not going to be easy. I make it sound so easy. It's not. I can tell you that. When I lost my husband, I had to find myself. It was not easy. Thank God I had so many years of yoga practice. I was so grateful. 
it's not easy. I had to take a car which I hated driving, feared it completely, and now I love it. You know, things change. I still prefer people to drive me, though. <laughs> I'll be very truthful about it, but I really don't mind driving myself. And God is very kind, always sends me lifts. Really, I'm very blessed. I'm very blessed. Because I face the challenge, so I get the gifts, you know? And Chandra will tell you that. And doing accounts, till today, I, get, I really get stressed when I look at all the bills I have to pay and accounts, etc. You know, my husband used to do all that. It's scary. The first internet banking I did, you know, I had no idea about internet banking. My son goes, da 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 da, -da do this or this account, do this and this account. <gasps> I lost 4,000 pounds, I don't know where I sent it. I called my son and how come tell you I don't know what I've done. <laughs> don't worry, I'll call the bank and let them know that you've done this. <laughs> it was yeah. But now it's, you know, you just learn with time. You, it's not easy to become yourself and independent. Do it. And the more you do it, the more you like yourself. And then when I built a house on my own and did everything, I thought, wow, you feel really proud of yourself. And where did it come from? Where did the energy come from? I don't know anything about this and this. I've made many mistakes, but I'm trying to correct them now. <laughs> but you learn. You don't worry about the mistakes. You just learn. You build yourself up. You make yourself strong. And you realize that God is with you. You're never alone. That's what I kept telling myself all the time. That's a good one. God is with me. I'm not alone. And you get lots of strength. Oh, the light is with me. I'm not alone. The power is with me. I'm not alone. I just have to keep positive. That's all. Find yourself. Life is short. Don't waste any more time on breakups. Five years ago, Tear up the paper, new beginning. Exciting. I wish you a wonderful way ahead. Let go of the old. As the saying goes, don't bother to cry over spilt milk. It's spilt.